back to CE Week Coverage 2014. I'm Callie Lewis. I'm John P. And and it is time. A good time. It is time to get serious. Very serious. Because, because we, have, we have Sean. We have a serious guest with us. He is the CE. Well, at least he has a serious CEA, title. The chief econo- economist. The That's CE. right. Can I call you the CE of the CEA? The chief. E- if you can get it out, you can call I know, me that. Right? The CEA <laughs> I, of the can't CEA. Even, I can't even say it. <laughs> chief economist and director of research. Right. That is a big the, title. The, 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 it didn't work. The director of research didn't work with my CE title. No, the CEDIR. I'm just making stuff cedar. up. He's the CEDAR. But you don't. <laughs> That's the a, cedar of the <laughs> CEA. Okay, you this is a serious down? segment, okay? Oh, serious, serious. This is a I'm very sorry. We're shot. definitely headed in that direction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the only direction we can go from here, right? All right. So you actually just got your PhD a couple of weeks. I did. Ago. I finally defended after uh, years. Yeah. Awesome. D- Doc is fine. You can just okay, we'll keep you. it. We'll keep yeah. it informal. Yeah, Doc yeah. would Doc yeah. fine. <laughs> <laughs> Well, congratulations. Thank you. On now that. I can raise my hand on an airplane when they're in need of a doctor. I I'm can. working, like, on, I'm uh, working yes. on a GED. I, I, right. I, I hope to get one soon. I would yeah. love to see that on a plane. He's like, yeah, I, uh, I'm we a, need doctor, a doctor. And then you can't do yeah, anything. I'd be like, nah, you cannot yeah, I, even help. Oh, I can't help you with that. But yeah. I am a doctor. <laughs> I can tell you about supply and demand, market structure. Right. He's choking, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Somebody else. <laughs> yeah. I don't have. Let me tell don't you about the that. value of assistance for him right, right. now. That's, that's right. Yeah. It's nearly infinite. That's right. It's almost limitless. He will pay anything for help right now. That's yeah. right. Yeah. The supply so, curve. This I know. The supply curve and the demand curve are definitely meeting right here. Right. That's this right. is the. This is the moment of. Here, does anybody have graph paper? I could use <laughs> right. some graph paper and nice. an overhead. I need an Stop. overhead projector. Stop it. This is a serious interview. Sorry. Okay? Sorry. Seriousness. So. In all there seriousness, are, what is it that you do at the CEA? Yeah, what does just, that mean? What do you do? I mean, really, <laughs> could you just tell us what you do Other around than drawing here? graphs and making fun of people. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody knows CEA for CES. Yes. But we also own essentially a boutique research firm. So we're a very unique uh, trade association in that perspective. And it's really uh, a tech-focused, obviously, tech-focused research firm. So we look at market growth, market demand, where things are going. We spend a lot of time talking about trends and some of the big things that are playing out in the industry. So it's a, gr- it's a great job. It's an awesome organization. Uh, really fun time to be in tech, obviously. So. Yeah, it is. Tell why, me about some of these trends yeah, you why, look at. Why what, is it what so are fun trends, for you? What kind of <laughs> trends are you looking at right now? What's so, the big stuff? So we're, all, we're always looking at inflection points. And I think there's a lot of inflection points taking place right now. We're at this really interesting point in the industry where you've got large install base of very mature categories. Televisions, computers, Phones. smartphones, even tablets, 45% ownership in the US. These are, are pretty large install bases and they're maturing quickly. And so at, at the same time, we've got these nascent emerging categories that have very low ownership rates, wearables, uh, other connected devices like smart appliances, thermostats. And so you've got this really interesting, I think really interesting inflection point where the mature categories are no longer the growth engine of the industry. They become replacement cycles and they're big, so they add to the total sum of the industry, but they're not where a lot of the growth is going to come. And really the, the growth over the next five years will be defined by the ability of these emerging categories to gain mass market appeal. Will wearables be attractive to 50, 60, 80% of the marketplace? Will 80% of households really want a, a smart thermostat? They did when it came to digital cameras, when it came to digital televisions, when it came to things like DVD players, but very few products ever enjoy 90% ownership rates. How about the smart toilet? Smart, the, those of you know, smart actually, toilet. smart toilets are huge in Japan. They are huge, they and they've are. Come, they're coming to the US now. Are they really? I want one. Yeah. I got a, a sidebar here. We went to Japan, and uh, I was not looking forward to their fancy toilets. I was like, I don't. Last thing I need what in life is a fancy about? toilet. Those things are awesome. Last thing I need is a fancy toilet. Then I experienced one. I was like, holy crap! I need a fancy toilet. <laughs> Who knew? Can I check this, please? Yeah. Is, it, is, <laughs> right. is it checkable? You carried yeah. a, uh, a smart toilet on the phone. But the isn't that you. the point here? I mean, yes. people, you don't know what you don't know what you want 
until you actually experience it, yeah. you can't. That's right. Yeah, and I think if you look at kind of the proverbial internet of things, things of, of the internet, however we want to <laughs> say things backwards the and sentences. Internet that's, things. That's right. <laughs> um, you know, we have the ability to connect a huge swath of physical objects. So where is it going to make sense? What's it going to make sense? You know, does it, do I want my closet to be connected? Maybe if it knows the weather and knows my calendar and it knows all of these yeah. other things. So we start to blend these, these different diverse data streams, things could get really interesting. That would be cool if your closet was like weather aware and then if you had like uh, smart light bulbs in there and let's say it was a, you know too cold so uh, it, it illuminated only the section of your closet for your cold weather clothing. You'd have to be pretty organized though. You know what would be, be awesome cool. is if like, you know, like in Clueless, our closets like totally dressed us that would be awesome you stand yeah. there and it uh <laughs> that would be like iron man like right. if your clothes would just fly on to you like iron right. man suit does. is that coming tuesday, Sean? tuesday suit meeting here we go yeah yeah is that coming is that on the horizon next year CES yes. 2015 2015 come and get yes. dressed could somebody you heard it directly uh, just from Sean. start a kickstarter for that because somebody needs to get working on that now so that it's uh, right. here for next right, year right. they come to eureka park at ces and yes. dress 150,000 of their nearest and dearest friends i'm pretty sure if they if somebody were to pull that off i think they would win the eureka park challenge probably i don't know <laughs> that's my guess they'd have my vote so what should we be looking forward to at ces 2015 anything uh oh there's so much coming 3d printers yes. space is doubling yes. 2015 after tripling in 2014. what kind of things are going to get printed though so like what, everything yeah like what food? kind of things do you want to print here's a here's can a great we, can example we print bacon? i don't know you can you can print food. I, mean, I you want can, bacon. You can print a bacon like substance. See, on my printer, on I just have a standard setting: bacon on everything. Right. Yeah, that would be mine. That's yeah. right. We are we are in sync. That's good. Serious I know here. it's shredded. What else? I know it's shredded pork, but I still want bacon on it. <laughs> right. right? Just, yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, so I think if you look at 3D printers, there's amazing things happening. I was talking to a, a friend the other day in the Coast Guard. They put one on a boat, put a guy there, and said, "Just make things. Just we just want you to find things to make." Uh, it changes the way we think about things. The other day, I was uh, I had opened a bag of potato chips and I was looking for a clip to clip the bag of potato chips. Couldn't find one, so, so I just printed, printed one. one. Nice. I, did you really? I did. So you are an Uber, you are geek. An Uber geek. You qualify you for this show. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you know what? Where's think, my chip clip? I think oh, he actually I don't need qualifies that. to take over one of our positions. Listen, he does. He can Watch out, John. You're in yeah. trouble. I know, Here I, I come. I know. I love uh, Dallas this time of year. Yeah. 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 yeah because right. you know what I think most funny about that is. It's not that you printed a chip clip. It's that you actually had a 3D model of a chip clip ready to print. Well, that's like, the beauty of... That was of, not the first time. Yeah, and that's the beauty of crowdsourcing, right? Is yeah. Other people design it, you borrow it, you share, you tweak it, you send it back up. I and mean, that's the, the way technology is, is changing. It's yeah. a, an amazing community. True. Well, fantastic. I cannot wait until CES 2015. And you guys are keeping us informed all the time about what's to, what to look out for, what's uh, coming up. And uh, you're and hard fact, at work making this consumer business a, a good thing. A win. Uh, but in fact, people can go to CE.org. They can. And they can sign up. Sign up to get all that information. Learn, 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 like absorb. Indeed. That's what we geeks do, right? Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> awesome you, time Sean. in tech. Great to be here with both of you. Yes. Have a great day. All Glad right. to have you. Thanks for joining us. We'll let you get back to everything else. We'll let you guys get back to some other GeekBeat videos right after this one. GeekBeat.tv slash CE Week. Stay tuned. All right. Bye. Bye, guys.